Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. The six success habits that will prepare you for prosperity. Now, you're probably listening to this podcast simply for the same reasons that I've actually made it. And that is because of a powerful inert desire to turn your vision into reality so you can experience greater freedom and life and because you really want to figure out how the heck to make this whole online business thing more successful and with success here meaning your definitions and measures of the word okay so let me tell you something in my 10 years as an entrepreneur the methods that you now have in this podcast streaming through your ears right are the most powerful amplifier for success freedom abundance and impact that you're ever going to come across now i'm not saying this lightly because what i'm about to tell you has reliably grown so many businesses that have uh, learned to actually implement them and i've actually lost count because um with the way we've been helping other people be to and have a happier existence success stories don't come naturally from people that are just successful they come from ordinary people like you and me all right so that's the reason why i strongly believe that sharing these strategies with coaches and consultants and business owners like you through this podcast will actually satisfy that inner desire that i told you about for me and i hope it will help you satisfy yours too if you make a serious commitment to making the concepts that i'm going to talk about work for your business i know life has been <laughs> tough widely uh lately you know hasn't it COVID 19 uh, crazy governments millionaires being made overnight and in this sort of environment it takes smart operators to actually gain an edge so you can actually scale your business to the next level and as a cultural consultant um you might be saying i picked up this podcast because i wanted to learn more about how to attract new leads on a regular basis or how do i turn those leads into paying clients and how do i get maximum bang for my advertising buck what's this talk about success well let me tell you something man these questions can be difficult to answer especially if you're not tech savvy or have a team behind you or people like myself that cheer you on success stories don't come from naturally successful people they come from ordinary people with starry eyes and big dreams and who have stayed true to the end goal and are consistently putting in the work people like yourself and i want you to touch your heart right now with your right hand and say i'm gonna be successful did you do that fantastic successful people are just like you and me but what sets them apart is their mindset a success mindset which is what i'm hoping i will help you remember because you already know all of these things i just want to remind you what a success mindset looks like according to your own definition and feelings around the word okay so some people sort of equate success with money and materialistic uh, positions um however this is only just a fragment of what it can be others may just have maybe generated this image of maybe a perfect life a perfect relationship a perfect business and it finds them unfulfilled and out of touch with actual uh life and reality 
Because let me tell you something, materialism or materialistic success just gives the appearance of looking good but going nowhere. You have an image of looking the part, but however, you can actually look the part and yet you feel like a fraud at the core of your own existence. We are the most documented generation Um you know, in, in history. So every move, every sandwich that we have is recorded on some sort of social media platform. And it makes it really tough because you also want to keep up with the Joneses or the proverbial uh, keeping up appearances just because you never know if that phone that is tethered towards you is either taking a photo or somebody's just having a video chat. All right, so you don't want to come out as an imposter, and that's the reason why I came out boldly with this podcast. And I said, What you have in your hands um, are the most powerful amplifier of success. And I did put out a disclaimer and said, Whichever way you define it. So, if materialism is the maybe external evidence of what you might define as a success, you know, um, you know, expensive watch, jewelry, cufflinks, an expensive belt, expensive shoes, expensive clothes, expensive car, expensive house, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the inner question becomes, what does success actually feel like? Yes, you can show it, but what does it feel like? As much as anyone may look like they have it all together, feeling down and negative will, you know, get you very little accomplished because you can't do well if you don't feel well. So you might look good, but if you don't feel good, grand opening, grand closing, you can't find success naturally. You have to work for it and you need to be there every single day showing up whether you like it or not come hell or high water you need to identify your target market clarify your message and determine the media you're going to be reaching out to them consistently so those who have created success in their lives or in their business i know one thing for sure they've created an inner dialogue of success and achievement and that's the reason why i never stop short every single day to talk about success and everything that helps you create a business that's profitable and enjoyable because 99 percent of all the inputs that you have right now are negative they are telling you you're never going to amount to anything they're telling you the economy is going to be down you're going to need somebody who is in your corner who's going to be giving you that inner dialogue and inner strength to tell you everything is going to be okay and you are doing fantastic. Because if you feel unproductive, then maybe it's high time to actually take a closer look at your own mindset. Guess what? The mindset is what you take along with you everywhere you go. You could not wear the same watch. You could not wear the same clothes. You could not drive the same car, but you have the same mindset wherever you turn up. So let's start with that because success starts with a growth mindset. You might be thinking, oh, Prosper, hey, listen, man, I'm here to just learn about, um, you know, attracting new leads and, um, you know, creating recurring income and all that stuff that you talk about. Well, obviously, yeah, you could just shut down this podcast, but if you don't cre- clean your main brain and the one thing that is constant with you 24-7, then you're missing out on one thing that you can actually manipulate in order to actually be, do, and have a happier existence. Let me tell you something. I know growing your own business is tough. Cold calling potential clients and having them hang up in your face all the time, that would break any motivated person because you feel like you're inadequate. You feel like you're an imposter. You just feel like if somebody says no to you, the whole world is going to say no to you. And maybe you've been sending out hundreds of emails without getting as much as, oh, thank you for reaching out. And people are slamming or reporting you for spam or whatever it is. All of that could bring a grown man to his knees and cry 
you know, and you're wasting thousands and thousands of dollars on ad spend without generating any qualified leads. We, we are all going through that. But because we've got a growth mindset and we know that whatever we are putting ourselves out there, you could always cost correct. You could always adjust and eventually soon you will have all that you want. So sometimes it may feel like no one wants to buy what you're selling. And when you rely on your business to actually pay your rent and put food on the table, it can put an enormous strain on your emotions. And you're terrified of, um, you know, having to give up on your dreams. And maybe sometimes you might actually contemplate going back to a safe nine to five job with your tail tied between your legs. If you can bring in new clients and I'm also going to say this with utmost love and respect. Yes, there are some people that are successful doing their nine to five, but we here as coaches and consultants, we chose to um, create our own uh, means of production. So like I said, success starts with a growth of mindset. Your mental attitude is impacted by the way that you actually value yourself. So becoming uh, fixated on materialism and how you acquire it will actually limit you from unleashing high performance capacity um, of your own unique strength and talents. People are out there to listen to your story, hear you encourage their dreams, listen to you justify their failures and walk behind you as you help them throw rocks at their enemies. How are you going to do that when you don't have a growth mindset? All right. So for you to accomplish a growth mind and a growth expansion, it's important to, accept, uh, to have a really big understanding of what success actually means to you. And when you shift your mindset to a more positive direction, you will feel more enlightened and motivated to actually reach your goals. Because... I want you to create your success story and I want you to allow the law of attraction to manifest prosperity into your life. And I'm going to show you how, but let me tell you something. You're probably asking yourself, how am I going to be able to grow my business and compete with everybody else in the marketplace there? Because I know as a coach or consultant, marketing is just one aspect of running a successful business, you know, coming from hiring new staff, balancing books, growing, um, you know, driving that growth and much, much more. It actually feels like a constant balancing act where you're pulled in multiple different directions. If you look up on the internet, I've got photos of me wearing multiple hats. I think about six or seven hats. Those are the kind of hats that each and every coach, consultant, or inter uh, entrepreneurs, um, you know, wearing every single day in order for them to have a successful business. At the end of the day, your real goal is just to help your clients. Am I, am I, am I, am I wrong by saying that you just want to give solutions to the problems that your clients are going through right now? And you just want to spend as much time as possible changing people's lives and solving people's problems. You don't want to waste countless hours each week trying to navigate the complex world of online marketing and everything else that comes along with it. So for you to be there and show up for the people that you want to help, you need to have a clear understanding of what success means in your life. How are you going to know when you've arrived? You know, every time you, uh, you know, you jump into your car and you're going somewhere, the first thing that you do is turn on the GPS so that you have an understanding of the direction of where you're going and what the destination is. You can't just go in your car and say, yeah, I'm just going to drive with no direction because, you know, wherever your car runs out of fuel, that there you are, you've arrived. So you need to have a clear understanding of what success actually means in your life. Now, do you know what success means to your life? What does success mean to you? T take a moment to listen, to think about this. What does success actually mean to you? Do you know what it means? What does it mean to you? Because knowing fully um, well to clarify your goals and your desires is vital before you can actually achieve any success. Think about it this way. How do you know when you have achieved success if you don't have any goals or any desires and whether those goals or desires are met? Remember that um, GPS analogy that I alluded to earlier on? How are you going to know when you have arrived? So go beyond 
image and focus on your own self value. Self value is another part of success. I kid you not. Because how you see yourself is how other people would actually see you. Perception is reality. So it can be challenging to express your worth when you don't actually create um, the practice of maybe being persistent or you actually pursuing your goals. So if you remain persistent, even when things are not going according to plan, you actually start respecting yourself and eventually everybody else around you does the same. So you want to keep your expectations optimistic, all right? And you know what people say? A positive attitude would take you a long way. Attitude is like a tire, okay? If it's flat, it can't take you anywhere. And I think it was George uh, Sheehan who said success means having the courage, the determination, and the will to become the person you believe you were meant to be. Do you know? Do you know? who you were meant to be. Are you that person right now or are you working towards that person? Because if you ain't, make this the time that you're going to draw a line in the sand and say, hey, I am going to do the things that I believe I was meant to be doing. And once you've done that, you want to find and actually declare your intentions. Like I mentioned that proverbial line in the sand. You want to have a clear vision about where you want to go and what you should do to get there. Because when you gain, when you uh, gain clarity about what you want to be and what you want to do, why you want to do it and where you want to do it from, then it should be easy for you to achieve anything that you set your mind to. Because if you become intentional about your success, um, the journey itself becomes fun. Because if you become intentional about your success journey with a sense of consciousness, visualize your next step so that you can help you to accomplish your purpose and your goals. Because if you start off with really large and unconceivable goals, then you never start. You develop what's called inertia. So by knowing, you know, these small steps that you need to start taking and setting your intentions, you can actually train your mind to focus on what truly matters to you. Let's say you want to achieve a goal in five years, six years, or um, 10 years. And one of them, one of my goals is to buy an electric car. And you know, one thing that I need to do, especially for me to actually prepare myself to uh, buy an electric car is to clear our garage. It's got nothing to do with saving. It's got nothing to do with working hard and everything else. The moment I clear the garage because an electric car needs to stay in the garage for it to charge. The moment I clear that space, I have opened up space for the electric car to come. Like for real, that's the only thing I need to do. And once that has happened, I will actually have the the energy to go in and say, hey, now I've got space for this car. And then I'll go to um, the dealership to go and do a test drive. Up until that has happened, I, I won't have the energy or the idea that I need to fill this void with the, um, with the car that I need to buy. So what in your life right now is the proverbial full garage that is, um, you know, stopping you from reaching out for your success. So that's the reason why you need to treat success as a journey. You know, you may have heard of um, the infamous um, saying that success stories don't happen overnight. There is no overnight success. Success can come in different phases and times of your life. So whether it's work, it's business and life or in general, small milestones, um, you know, like like maybe starting a business or starting a family can actually impact the meaning of success and may change with time. You know, in and among all of these transitions, work with what you've got to create income and impact and focus on your strengths and do the things that build a lot more self-value. Because if you can depend on yourself and believe that you too can be, do and have a happier existence, I guarantee you success will be served to you on a silver platter. And let me tell you one thing, it is very possible to be successful in maybe one area of your life and very unsuccessful in 
others. How many people do you see out there that are rich and famous, but they have failed marriages? How many people do you see out there that are doing quite well in the public space, but their health is in shambles? So celebrate your little accomplishments, no matter how big or small they may be, and be more aware of what your strengths and weaknesses are, and give yourself grace and space with those areas that still need maturation and walk your own pace. There's about seven areas um, in our lives that we need to focus on. You know, your family and home, your relationships, your spiritual and emotional well-being, your physical and health, you know, your um, growth mindset that we're talking about right now, your, fa- your, your finances, your vocation, and relationships with other people and those that you work with. Okay, so you want to make sure that you are tackling each and every one of these aspects of your life, um, you know, as, as with, with, with grace and space, because no kid is born walking immediately. All right. So maybe you are running with your finances, but maybe your health is still crawling. So have uh, grace and allow yourself to grow into the person that you want to be. So while you feel like other people are already succeeding in their goals, it doesn't mean that your success won't come. Just focus on you, focus on your growth, focus on your process, and don't chase after other people's success because you might be seeing somebody's walking, um, yet you're still crawling in another stage. But if you look closely, there might actually be a fetus in their finances. So your time will come. Just walk at your own purse and learn from your own journey. And once you are learning, obviously obstacles are going to be coming through because nothing is set in stone. So us as human beings, we're not wired to live perfect lives. You know what I mean? We can try all we want to to live perfectly, but in the end, we're still human beings. Look at your fingers right now. No two fingers on the same hand are of the same height. So never expect to be the same. Even if you are twins with somebody else, you still have some genetic difference. Even looking at your hands again, each and every one of our fingertips has different, um, you know, um, um, you know, fingerprint, which means we are unique people and we should actually celebrate that uniqueness, you know? You could try and try and try and be perfect and emulate other people, but we're still human, man. You know, we are going to face setbacks. We're going to face challenges. And at some point in our lives, so the end, you know, the end result, um, you know, and what we're going to achieve in our future is entirely up to us. So in... If you continuously fall down and you raise up again and we learn from our experiences, it's using those learnings and experiences that will help you to finally succeed and will allow you to use those setbacks and challenges as lessons um, that will help you be, do, and have a happier existence. And if, and, 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 and if you let those setbacks and challenges hinder your growth or success, guess what? You will uh, not achieve um, you know, success at all. Now, if you never look at our website on my about us page, I've got the statement. We're here to live. We're here to learn and we're here to contribute. We're here to live the best lives that we possibly can. And we're here to learn how to live those best lives. And when, once we've done those two things, we need to contribute to other people so that they too can be, do and have Uh, 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 a happier existence and as coaches we're already doing that because our real goal is to help our clients um you know uh change their lives and solve their problems but you need to be a reflective practitioner okay so you want to create a practice of self inventory um of your mindset of your um everything else that you go through and you want to reevaluate your idea of success depending on the level you are at at any given moment. Because the power of uh, persistence and experience can manifest outcomes that are favorable and are empowering to build your mindset for future achievements. You can simply do this by maybe meditating, reading, um, writing down in your journal at the start or at the end of your day, and you're setting your intentions for the day and you self-reflect 
um, on whether or not you're actually working towards that success. And let me tell you something. When you actually have that sense of accomplishment, it increases your mood and your productivity, which in turn will help you to go out and get a lot more things done. Because the more you are patting yourself on your back to say, hey, I've achieved this. Hey, I've done this. You're actually starting to develop a success mindset, which will allow you to be doing, have a happier existence. Because once you've developed this success mindset, it can be the biggest benefit um, that you would ever have for yourself. Do you know what I mean? Not, not only in terms of just your mental health, but you not only um, having this alongside you everywhere you go. Yes, you can buy expensive watches for you to feel good about yourself. You can eat all the expensive food. You could have all the arm candy that you can possibly pull. But if your mindset is not, um, you know, working in getting you uh, be doing, have a happier existence, then all of it will be for naught. All right. So like I said earlier on, we might be trying to, um, grow our business, we might be trying to generate leads, we might be trying to get regular paying clients. If you work on your mindset, you have a queue of dream clients who climb all over each other just to give you their money. You know, you'll be able to grow your business to seven figures or beyond or whatever it is that you call success in as little as two years. You know, you never have to cold call another client again. You know why? Because your success is now compounding. People are now going to be referring clients to you. And not only will you attract and manifest prosperity, you feel more at ease and at peace with your goals, your journey, and most importantly, yourself. Because you're going to be the most um, common denominator in everywhere that you're going to be going and in everything that you're going to be doing. You know, at the end of the day, you are your own, um, you know, um, success amplifier, like I mentioned earlier on. Yes, life has been crazy. We've been hit with COVID. There's been crazy governments. You know, millionaires have been created in something that feels like overnight. But these people have been working endlessly for, so that they can be doing, have a happier existence. So like I mentioned earlier on, success stories. They don't come from naturally successful people. They come from ordinary people like you and me. People with blood going through their veins, with starry eyes and big dreams. And if only you stay true to your end goal and you're consistently putting in the work, you too can be, do, and have a happier existence, whichever way you define it. And that's what sets you apart, having a success mindset. Now tell me something, what are you going to do with this information that you've just learned today? Because some people just equate success with money and materialistic possessions, but you're different. You're not like them. You are not everybody else. You know, you are going to create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. You are going to create recurring income in your business. You are going to be doing, have a happier existence, and you're going to be going out there helping your clients do the same. You know? You know? You are going to be having actual time and freedom together. You're going to be, um, you know, having every client that you speak to become already pre-sold because they love where you're at and they absolutely worship the ground that you have walked on. So if you're going to be in it for the materialistic aspect, go, go ahead, go for it. It's there for the taking, right? But if you really want to be, do, and have a happier existence, success starts with a growth mindset. Your mental attitude is impacted by the way you value yourself. So becoming fixed on materialism and how much you acquire will actually limit you from unleashing a high performance capacity of your own unique strengths and talents. I want you to accomplish growth. I want you to expand. I want you to be the biggest, baddest thing that ever walked on this earth. 
And it's important for you to understand what success actually means to you. And when you shift your mindset to a more positive direction, you will feel more enlightened and motivated to reach your goals. I want you to create your success story. Listen to this. I'm celebrating your success already. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the Live Long Digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.